Ramón. Good early evening, everyone. 4.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on a crashing Tuesday in the crypto markets. I'm T-Speaker 222XRP, future millionaire, with the side bet on XLM and future Digibyte OG. So I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. And I want to remind you to hit that motherfucking like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And also, pay attention. I've been nailing these so perfectly that I, I don't even know what you would think. But I, absolutely spectacular technical analysis the last couple days. And I'm not here to toot my own horn, so we're going to get by that. But the point is, is if you've been following along, you've been saving a lot of money. And you've been seeing some absolutely spectacular technical analysis to learn. And I've been doing it in a way where you can learn every single thing that I'm doing. Because I'm drawing it for you each and every day. Reiterating, re-showing you, re confirming what is going on so we're going to stick with xrp xlm dgb the rest go to my crypt my swing traders anonymous i covered so many of them on swing traders anonymous today you better follow that channel i covered algo i covered v chain i covered h bar i covered doge and shiba on my shiba and you i covered t fuel i covered theta i covered solana I covered AGI. That was all today. So go check out my Swing Traders Anonymous. It's almost up to 700 subscribers. I'm really pushing hard to try to get to 1,000 subscribers. And then it's all up to the watch time hours. I want to be in a position where I can succeed and turn YouTube upside down. And we're doing it one day at a time. And I thank each and every one of you. If you're on the fence about subscribing to the channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know how many more times I have to do this before you'll finally join Tom's Army for $9.99 a month. And or... Subscribe to the channel, which is most important. Because after all, at the end of the day, my content's free unless you want to go above and beyond. But we are crashing, guys. Bitcoin's down 5%. I told you yesterday that that was unacceptable to bounce. And there was no way that that could be... Eh, it wasn't going to hold. <clears throat> now, we start to look. Are we going to get held up here? If we get held up on a double bottom there, I might consider buying if it were to hold a bottom. But I don't think it's going to, personally. I think this bear pennant is telling us we need to come down to 36,143. Once we break 40,000, it's going to be a swift drop. We might hold off at 39,393, which, you know, was at a point, if you go way back in the pattern, it had some relevance. But I don't know if, how much relevance it's going to have here. If it breaks through this, it's going to come through. This doesn't look great at all. Bitcoin, I know it looks like it's collapsing, but it's on the verge of really liquidating a bunch of portfolios because if it makes this next drop you're talking a four thousand point drop from here four thousand points it'd be four thousand points from here which would put it another ten percent down basically no more than that yeah about ten percent so and that would put xrp we're looking at the overall target. If it can't hold this spot right here, and this is one, two, three times down. So if it were to hold this, and we're gonna have to be careful because the futures closes, or I mean the market switches over at eight. So that's gonna be a very tricky time at eight o'clock tonight. This could go very bad, very quickly. This was supposed to be, like I said, a daily hold candle. And what did it do? It fucking, it imploded. It's imploded. There's no other way to put it, but crypto is imploding before our very eyes. XRP at 87 cents. I know I was told so many times this can't happen. 
But what do we do, guys? We keep plugging along. We keep sticking to the technicals, and we keep learning each and every day. And I continue to put the content out to you so many times a day, my head wants to explode because I've done so much work today. I did an hour and a half live. I've put out, what is it, the fourth update today, third or fourth. I've done a swing traders. I've done those. And I know I do that to myself, but there's so much things, so many things I know in the crypto and not just crypto, but all across the board. And there's one that I want you guys just on a, on a, just put it on the back burner for a minute. And if you have some money to throw into it, sit on it. I have, and I'm going to be sitting on it for a little bit because this is Excelus, Excel, E-X-E-L. It's an oncology type, uh, company pharmaceutical i don't even know if you want to call it pharmaceutical but they deal with oncology and they just got a valuation late last night or the late the night before and the valuation was for 60 dollars a share plus so i jumped in on this earlier this morning i said you know what fuck it with that kind of valuation this is one that could go against a crash and looking at a chart you know we have we're waiting i would be waiting for one big breakout and finish off this massive cup and handle because it's already proved that it's going up that way so at worst i'll be able to decide at 23 but it's risky but that was the valuation so it's a third the price of the valuation less than a third it was well over 64 dollars the valuation so that's just one to keep in mind the total crypto market cap and i like some of the people's comments because i said 30 trillion and somebody said no he meant 30 billion and I do appreciate the correction because absolutely I misspoke. I said 30 trillion. It was supposed to be 30 billion. You guys are on top of it. So I have a great, great members in the chat. Really great members. So today the total crypto market cap is sitting at 1.82 trillion, but it's down 8.6 billion, another four and a half percent. It's teetering, guys. If it breaks this level of, of support where it came down to a second time, and that was where I predicted it to come down to so long ago, and it broke right through there. So if it breaks... Now I'll add this to it too, because this is the bottom. If it breaks that 1.802 where it's already has that firm bottom, it's gonna go way farther. And I think this is just a bearish continuation pattern, which it is. And since I've done it on all the rest, why not do it on the total crypto market cap? Because, and I'll do it in two seconds. So repetition will help you guys become better at doing this. So we can come all the way up to the old support line, guys. So that was our biggest drop. Now our biggest rise point was putrid. It's putrid. It's putrid. Because now if you're being honest with yourself, you're drawing it like that. So immediately it broke over, but then it pulled right back into the zone. So with the crypto market cap, you can absolutely trade between that wedge for a while. And that's what it might be doing to where you go like this until you finally break down. But the target out of this, when you measure the size of the flagpole, because remember, you got to measure the size of the flagpole. In this case, you go out into the four hour just because that's the better technicals. And I always undervalue it. So I'll go like this. Instead of coming way up here where it had some back and forths, I like to go where it had this first drop one. We come all the way down to the lowest flagpole. I mean, the lowest um, wick. We come here to the apex, which is right there. And that would give us a total price of the crypto market cap. A, you know, a out into the future technical analysis based on this bear pennant we're forming, which we've already established, formed, and now we're just running the course. So that's what's going on here with the total crypto market cap. So don't think anything less, anything more, that this is exactly what's going on. And then this is my overall target, way down there. I think we're going under a trillion dollars. I think we're going to $750 billion in the market cap. I really do. Call me crazy. But I think that's where the market cap's going. I think there's going to be a lot of manipulation, and I'm going to help you get there every step of the way. So as far as back into the what matters, that's what's going to happen with the total crypto market cap, in my opinion. It's going to fall out of this bear pennant, and at some point it's going to be down there at $1.576 trillion before we get any real relief. And then yada, yada, yada. But this does a little bit of ways to go in this sideways and up with this upward uh, support. And then the downtrending resistance. It's still got a little bit of ways to go. It could always come back up to 1.87 trillion. So I'm not ready to say it's ready to fall through yet. But once we break down out of this wedge, just like with everything else, as you're seeing in all of crypto, we're fucked. And right now, we're starting to break out of the wedge. So this is a very dangerous time. It must stay above 1845 to be, in, you know, to be firmly in the wedge right now. 
And as you can see, it is not at 1.845. It's at 1.81. So it's it's three billion dollars outside of the wide outside of the bear pennant right now, which means it can we can have a crash at any moment right now. When you're outside the bear pennant, as XRP is, as all of these are, this means there's a imminent crash warning. XLM is outside the wedge. And it even fought in that zone, I told you. But I told you, we were at the apex earlier. We had to come down. It was time, and now it hit that support zone again, 26.9. And now DGB fell outside of its. And now it even fell through the fucking diving board. It's, ready, it's already making its descent. It didn't even make it to the end. So these are firm double bottoms right now. So it looks like, to me, it's just going to blow past. There's no reason for it to hold here. It got no bounce of relevance. So we're going to see what happens. This is where you have to make a choice for yourself. But the bear pennant's telling me all I need to know. And I'm just going to sit back, relax, and I'm going to light this joint real quick because I need to relax. I just got done cutting the grass. And I rode in my bike to go get gas because uh, I didn't have any gas left in the gas in the lawnmower. So that's always fun. I don't like to drive. My eye I can't see good. I only got one eye that I can see out of. Hold on one second. I'm going to light this, and we're going to finish this. So you guys see what's happening with XRP, XLM, DGB. You see what's happening with Bitcoin. I keep you up to the date, up to the minute. And honestly, by this point, I've figured out a way to release it to you in a beautiful, fantastic, and phenomenal way to where you can understand and learn yourself in each and every episode. So I expect, uh, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. Expect that I am not. But... If the charts are speaking to you and my technical analysis and the way I do it actually makes sense to you because I'm showing you true technical analysis, not FUD, not no bullshit. I'm not giving you my affiliate links. I'm going straight to the point each and every time. And if it's a 25-minute episode, there's a reason why it's a 25-minute update. You just need to sit back and relax. My audience, I love my audience. My haters, I love each and every one of you. Hit that dislike button. You encourage me to do so much more. And right now, as we're watching the markets collapse again... I told you the miles indicator is 100% spot on. So just for future reference, what is the miles indicator saying today? So miles, oh, I follow miles. Dogecoin, $2 by the end of the year. Oh, we knew we were going to crash today. Last time he said this, where is it at? 130 worse by the end of the year and it crashed four days ago. 250 this year. See what they have to do, guys? All they do is FUD when everything is dumping because what do they have to do? They gaslight you onto something different so that your mind's not working properly. I mean, look at Doge. It's hemorrhaging and he's talking about it going to $2. If Doge hits $2 by the end of the year, he's out of his fucking mind. Doge ain't hitting $2. Be lucky if Doge is 60 cents at the end of the year unless it does what I say. Doge very well could go under a penny. And these people are telling you it's going to be $2 at the end of the year. I can't wait for the end of the year. I could put out a FUD headline, XRP to 340 by uh, January 2nd, 2022. What are you guys going to say? You would believe me and you'd buy it every step of the way. I'm not going to tell you that because it's not going to happen. I'll tell you when it's going to happen because I'm going to have a shitload of it. But you want to talk about a sexy bitch getting even sexier, working out, getting real nice and firm. That's DGB. And that is so hard not to buy this right now because it's at this fucking... Look at that. Look how perfect that is. I don't know. It's a good thing my gut's telling me it's going to go through. Otherwise, I'd be loading up on this right now. This is why I said I'm not a financial advisor. And this is where you have to take your own chances. Because it very well could bounce up off of this and you could have a phenomenal gain. Or the bear pennant's going to play out again as it has the last, what, three bear pennants I've drawn out for you. And this was the best one because I drew this out in the one-hour time frame when it first crashed. There was no evidence. And I said, let's play out in the future game. That's why you guys should appreciate this. I showed you. I don't need no nonsense. I know about what I know, and I know I'm good at what I do. So I've earned everything I do because I give it to you for free. In hopes one day that you will learn this knowledge and the knowledge that you give out for free to somebody willing to learn or willing to listen, you'll be there to help my son or my two daughters. Stepdaughters, whatever, same thing. So that's my hope and that's why I do this and I'll continue to do it. I don't care if anybody's in it for the money. I'm not. Sure, I would love to make this my full-time job. We're getting close. 
I used to think it would take 500 subscribers to make this my full-time job. Paid subscribers, 250 would do it, if I'm being honest. We're at 188 people that are members of Tom's Army. If you're on the fence, consider joining. Get me here even more than I am. Those live streams that I did an hour and a half today, you should be very appreciative because I teach a class tonight at 8 o'clock. And I've kept on my updates. I love doing this because I'm a step ahead all the time. Eights bar, a lot of you guys asked me about. I did a phenomenal with Swing Traders Anonymous and it fell through and now we've got to pay the piper, ladies and gentlemen. And the, the drop out of that bear pennant is 21.7. There's a bottom from way before at 24.4 that we have to acknowledge. That's why I have it there. But that's the drop out of the bear pennant. I've done all the work for you. Go look up a bear pennant if you don't know what it means. It's a bearish continuation pattern to the downside. So after a swift and sudden drop, flash, crash, crash, liquidation event, whatever you want to call it, there's a stopping point where you get a minor relief rally. In this case, it was shit. It was, it was, it, it was, this looks like shit. This looks like bloody hell. This is the worst possible bounce you could have possibly had. And then it's a continuation to the downside. So it continues to drop just as hard. Once those few buyers that have all their buy orders in or the people that are deciding to leverage their accounts and go long again, get fucking absolutely wrecked again today. Again, wrecked. And now we fell through, guys. Now we're we're basically at that low point. I'm waiting for it to get to that 40,198 so we can see how Bitcoin reacts. We've basically fallen all the way back through in less than 24 hours. So I'm saying you need to take me very seriously when I talk, when I especially when I'm in the zone of breaking down the charts for you. When I do it like this, I'm dead accurate. When I speculate, I'm not accurate. That's why I don't speculate. Because if I tell you what's going to happen in five years, I'm telling you a bullshit story. Period. And I'm staying on here with you guys because this is the kind of days that I need to talk to you. We need to be on the same page. We're crashing and we're crashing hard. And Bitcoin is down 5.6%, but XRP is only down 5.3%. What do you think is going to happen? They never run equal with Bitcoin. Eventually, these altcoins are going to fall through the support level, and that would be when Bitcoin goes through 40,000. I guarantee it. Once Bitcoin breaks 40,000, it's going to be all hell breaks loose, unless it has that one stopping point at 39.3. And that would just be, oh shit, a hook down. It would, be, it would literally be, we're free fall and fill the orders. Free fall. Because it would want to fill the orders at 40,000. There's so many orders at 40,000, it's disgusting. So 40,000 would probably have a kick somewhere from in between 40 and 39. There would be a kick from 39 to about 40,200 roughly. If it could even get back over 40,000, if it even stopped at 39.3. There's a chance that with this liquidation, it's just going to pull right through it. Fill the orders, come right through right away. That's how disgusting this game is right now. You guys have no idea how close we are to historically crashing today. Today, if we drop through to 36,000, do you know how much we would be down in a matter of two weeks? Do you know how much XRP is already down from $1.40? When people tell me, how, do you, how can you say it's historic? Guys, in a matter of not even one whole month, portfolio, look at this, guys. And then we're not even close to being done. That was on September 6th in a month. A month, about six weeks. If you'd have bought XRP six weeks ago because you FOMO'd, thought I was a douchebag or whatever, and I'm not even going to put it all the way to the top. You would right now be down better than 38 per Oh, no, you wouldn't. Better than 35% because we'll measure that up at 88.7. Better, th better than 36%, guys. That's liquidated. Come on. Tell me with a straight face if you had 35% less portfolio today in a month. You'd be feeling the same way about crypto. You'd probably take all your money out and fucking throw it away. You'd probably put it right back in the bank and say, I'm not doing this shit. And then you're done. What do you think is going to happen after we liquidate again? That's XRP. Look at some of these other ones. 35, 36% for XRM and DGB. Oh, man. Woo. If you wouldn't have listened to me with DGB and sold it up here, you're, you're, you're done. You might as well, you've missed the golden opportunity on 35. Well, this is more than 35. DGB likes to drop and this bitch likes to drop hard. 
Oh my DGB, what did you do to yourself, girl? What did you do? What? Okay. DGB's down 81%, guys. 81% you'd be down on DGB. So if you had $10,000, guys, you have $1,900 left right now. Makes a big difference. If you had 1000 you have $160. Or, uh, what is this? $190 left. So when they say, why not just hold? You tell me, would you rather have 190 or your whole portfolio? Be wise. Understand who you're choosing to watch the technical analysis from. Make sure to watch the people that in times like this are telling you the truth and not fudding it up like you just seen with all this, all of YouTube. They're all fudding it up right now. Every single one of them because they don't know how to do technical analysis. And what do they do? They hide themselves in the sands. Hide themselves in the sand when you guys need real fucking knowledge. I need to go eat, but let's take a look at what they're telling you. Ripple motion denied. Capitalization ending. XRP emergency warning. Massive Everglade fooled. This is top signal ripple X. I mean, these fuck huge warning. No one will be able to buy XRP after this. See what they're doing? XRP disaster is now here. All these same fuck. May hey, Hayden, welcome to the fucking party. All time high price. That was a month ago. But see, all these people, I told you eventually they'd be saying the same thing as me. Oh, remember BitBoy just said XRP would go to 10,000, 20,000. Remember, that's why when you guys talk to me about BitBoy, that's the biggest scumbag in this whole game. Now it's going to be delisted permanently. Refuse FOIA. See, I told you guys. I told you guys. All that was going to happen was I was going to be proven right. And then they would just say, oh, the SEC did it. It has nothing to do with the SEC, guys. This has nothing to do with the SEC. Wake the fuck up. Understand what's going on. The entire market is crashing. Even if XRP got delisted tomorrow and the market crashed, it would crash right along with it. Until we delist from Bitcoin, XRP is Bitcoin's bitch.